Rounding, rounding, rounding. Today we're talking about rounding. But what is rounding? Is rounding when you take a number and make it round? Well, maybe. But that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about the kind of rounding that has to do with place value. Let's look at an example. Here we're rounding 346 to the nearest 10. That just means we want to know if 346 is closer to the 10 that comes before or the 10 that comes after. We'll use a number line that marks the 10 that comes before and the 10 that comes after. 340 is the 10 that comes before and 350 is the 10 that comes after. Let's also mark the number in the middle. What number comes between 340 and 350? If you said 345, you're correct. So we'll mark that on our number line too. Now, where does our number go? 346 is a little bigger than 345. So we'll place it here. Okay, now you can see that 346 is closer to 350 than 340. And that's rounding. But do we want to make a number line every time we round? No. Wouldn't it be nice if we had some rules? Well, you're in luck. We do. Let's take a look at those. First, find the place value you're rounding to. Then ask yourself, what digit is in the place to the right? If that digit is less than 5, round down. If that digit is 5 or greater, round up. Let's look at an example. Here we're rounding 297 to the nearest 10. First, we'll find the place value we're rounding to. That's where the 9 is. Now we ask ourselves, what digit is in the place to the right? That's the 7. Is that digit less than 5, or is that digit 5 or greater? It's greater than 5, so we'll round up. What is the 10 that comes after 297? If you said 300, you're correct. Let's try another example. Here we're rounding 346 to the nearest 100. Again, Let's use a number line, marking the hundredth that comes before and the hundredth that comes after. The hundredth that comes before is 300. The hundredth that comes after is 400. And again, let's mark the spot in the middle, which we know is 350. Now let's put our number on the number line. 346 comes a little before 350, so we'll put it here. You can see that 346 is closer to 300 than 400. But let's go ahead and try it with our rules. First, we find the place value we're rounding to. That's the 100. That's where the 3 is. Then we ask ourselves, what digit is in the place to the right? That's the 4. If that digit is less than 5, round down. If that digit is 5 or greater, round up. The digit is less than 5, so we'll round down. Do you know what the 100 is that comes before 346? Of course you do. It's 300. Okay, let's try one more example. Here we're rounding 972 to the nearest 100. So, what is the place value we're rounding to? Well, that's the hundreds. The nine is in the hundreds place. Next, we ask ourselves, what is the digit in the place to the right? That's the seven. If that digit is less than five, we round down. If that digit is five or greater, we round up. The digit is greater than five, so we'll be rounding up. Do you know the hundred that comes after 972? It's 1,000. And now it's your turn to practice rounding.